Hey, I'm Tyrant Official from Germany, that's why I have this weird accent and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can track objects in Blender. In this video I'm gonna explain how to track objects with a static camera. If you want to know how to track objects with a moving camera you will have to wait another week because this is coming next Sunday. So first you have to convert your video into images. Um, you do that by loading in your video into the sequence editor in Blender, setting your start and end frame and then render it as JPEGs. I like to do it as JPEGs because they're not as big files as PNGs. When the images are rendered you go into the movie clip editor and open your frames that way you can now track your object. You add another object because you don't want to track the camera because it's static and you also enter your sensor width. You can just Google it. Um, it won't work when you don't know the exact width. I then like to go into the fast motion preset um, and then set, se set scene frames and prefetch the whole clip. Next go ahead and press detect features and delete all the tracking markers which won't work. And then press control, uh, control T. When all the tracking markers are tracked correctly you can go into the solve tab and press solve object motion. Um, you will uh, have to try to get a solve error below uh, 0 0.5. I then went ahead and set the render engine to cycles and also set the video as a background. I then uh, went into overlays and check marked motion tracking. That way we will get to see the points, the tracking points in 3D space. Next you have to add the constraints. Uh, one, the camera solver constraint and the object solver constraint, set the object as object and the camera as camera and then align um, the object onto your tracking points so that it sits on your object you wanted to track. Uh, do the same thing with the plane which is going to be the shadow catcher. Um, now I'm just copying rotation and location so that it sits underneath the cube. So after I positioned everything, I went un into the cycle settings and checked marked shadow catcher for the plane and also set the background as transparent um, for the 3D scene. So that way we can now see the object with its shadow on my keyboard and it's tracked perfectly. And lastly, we have to position the light correctly. Um, it helps when you know where you filmed it and it helps also when you know um, where the light source was. Um, one light source is mostly um, better for 3D work um, because complicated lights can or will be also complicated uh, to replicate. Now I'm just doing a little test render to see if it uh, looks all right and for me it does it um, so I'm now just uh, going to render it out as a PNG sequence and uh, can then lay it above my source video in my favorite compositor which is HitFilm. So that was it for this tutorial. If you liked it you can just uh, subscribe and maybe also activate the bell um, so you won't miss any other short and simple tutorials.